Hey everybody, it's William Dayrod here, the Paradise Guy. Good morning to you. Hope you're having a great day today. We certainly are here. It's another beautiful day on Ambergris Key. Today we got something special. We're actually heading up to witness what is called a glass pulverizer and a way to recycle that pulverized glass that is uh, sustainable and allows us to take a lot of that glass out of the mix as far as trash disposal. This is important here on the island because we produce a lot of trash here and as more and more people come here we're producing even more trash and so we got to look at ways to limit that trash, recycle some of that trash and to make sure that that trash is properly disposed of. We are right now in the process of limiting single-use plastics, especially things like straws, styrofoam containers, and other plastics like plastic bags in grocery stores. So we're on the right track, but we've got a ways to go. So if you have any questions or suggestions on how we might evolve and get this done in even better ways, please hit me up. You can reach me at info at paradiseguy.com. I'm gonna show you this morning how this pulverizer works. And again, together we can keep San Pedro and Ambergris Key, La Isla Bonita. We gotta keep it beautiful. So uh, stay tuned, we're gonna check this out. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still driving. The reason why is I'm gonna share a little story with you. I showed up to see the glass being pulverized this morning at the agreed upon location and nobody was there. So finally somebody walked up to me and they said, oh, haven't you heard? The location's been changed. They're down south now. And the reason for that was is that the trailer hitch to tow the machine that does the glass pulverizing, I guess broke. So now we're turning around, we're heading back down south. And hopefully when I get there, I can show you guys exactly how this is done. So stay tuned. So I feel like right now I should be playing that Tom Petty song, Running Down a Dream. You know which one I'm talking about? It's one of the all time great driving songs. If you haven't heard it, go turn it on now. All right, so I finally made it. As you can see over my shoulder here, here's the machine that we're talking about. Uh, it's a glass pulverizer, and we're very fortunate to have it here. I'm looking forward to see how this thing really works. Okay, so behind me you see some of the products that are actually able to be manufactured after the glass is pulverized. We have various mixes down there. We have clay, we have cement, uh, we have partial glass, and then we have full glass bricks. But the good news is, is that this is gonna take a lot of glass off the island and it's gonna allow it to be repurposed so that we can use it rather than it ending up on the side of the road or in a landfill or uh, anywhere else that it shouldn't be. So to illustrate the importance of projects like this, we've actually got the mayor out here this morning. His name is Mayor Danny and he's out here to check out what we're doing. So what's great about this is they've actually put some of the products into testing already. 
they said that some of the all glass blocks or the pavers can withstand a 14 ton truck driving across them without breaking. And they said they've also started construction and are nearing completion on a three bedroom home. This block is 2.5 times stronger than cinder blocks and it's prettier and other things but let's, let's take that out right. This costs twice as much as a regular cinder block but because you don't need to paint, you don't need to plaster, half the amount of mortar, one third of the filling, the labor is easier because it's easier to lay and you cut down on window edges for example. Um, you cut down on the weight, because this measures 5 inches. By the time you finish with your house, if you're using a 6 inch, you're looking at 7 inches. So you're adding about 30% of the weight. The, the steel work is much simpler. So for example, like here, if this is your column for your house, you probably put maybe 4 steel, or if you want to put all around, and every 5 or so uh, bricks, you put some, some use across this way. Okay. And then when you fill everything, it save a lot of labor and money and it still works. Well, so there you have it. That's our visit to uh, some of our recycling efforts here on the island. We're just getting started with that. Um, again, we'd love your input. We'd love your suggestions on how we can do more of it, do it better, do it more efficiently, and of course, make it a viable business opportunity for somebody to participate. Um, it's always my privilege and pleasure to share this information with you. I look forward to sharing many more videos. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. And if you found this video interesting and informative, please give it a like. With that, as always, my name is William Nayrod. I am the Paradise Guy. We'll see you down here in Belize soon. Cheers.